What's going on guys, it's Nico Moreno here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly what the difference is between a flow, a broadcast, and a sequence. So we're going to be talking about Facebook chatbots, specifically using ManyChat. So if that's what you came here to watch, then we're going to dive right in in just a second. Now before we do that, if you do enjoy this video, if you like what you see, please give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, it really means a lot to me. And if you want to get more awesome content like this from me, 100% free, then click the button below to subscribe, or you can click the smiley face dude over in the corner to also subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks so much guys, and let's move into the content. So I get this question a lot, and it's something that I used to be confused with a lot too, because we have these three terms floating around inside of ManyChat. We've got a flow, we've got a broadcast, and we've got a sequence. So I'm gonna explain what the difference is between all three of these, and when you would use them. I'm also gonna show you examples of each of these three inside of ManyChat on my screen here. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is a flow. And you'll see flows come into play in, with the other two, with broadcasts and sequences as well. So it's important that we cover flows first. The reason why flows are a little bit confusing is because they can be just one message or they can also be hundreds, okay? So they can be super, super long conversations or they can also just be one single message. Now, a flow can only be sent as part of a broadcast or a sequence. So that's why it gets a little bit confusing, or that's why a lot of people find it a little bit confusing, and that's why I found it confusing in the beginning. But I promise you, if you stick with me here, by the end of today's video, you will understand the difference between all three. Okay, so a flow, it can only be sent uh, as part of a broadcast or a sequence. So basically, in order for a user, in order for a person to ever see a flow, it must be sent as either a broadcast or a sequence. So just the flow itself, the only time that you would ever see just the flow and not have it be part of a broadcast or a sequence is if you're actually like inside of your ManyChat account. Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. So here's an example of a flow. Okay, so flows, as you can see, they can be very, very long. Like I've got this gnarly one right here with a ton of messages, tons of different ways that people can go. And so this is actually a flow. Now it's also saved, we see in here inside of ManyChat, we have a folder called flows. So these are where all of our flows are stored. And the reason that ManyChat does this is because then we can reuse any flow that we've created. We can reuse it and send it as either a broadcast message or we can also add it as part of a sequence, okay? So it's kind of ManyChat's way of saving and backing up absolutely everything that we've done. And then we can hook it up and use it again over and over. So again, this whole entire thing, this is one flow. Now the only time we would ever see this is if we're inside of our ManyChat account, okay? We would see it labeled as a flow. But in order for any other user to actually see this when interacting with our bot, we would need to send this flow out as a broadcast. Or we would need to include this flow as part of a sequence. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. If that doesn't make sense, just keep watching the video and it'll make more sense by the end. So next up, let's take a look at broadcasts. So broadcasts, can either be a single message, so just one short little message, or it can be a message with a flow attached to it, okay? So like I said, you can, you can send out one short message as a broadcast, and then once you do, that becomes its own flow. It gets saved as a flow inside of ManyChat. Or what you can do is in a live broadcast before you've sent it, you can create a starter message, and you can also hook up an existing flow as well, all right? So that's kind of what a, flow, what a broadcast actually looks like. Now, broadcasts are real-time and one-time messages, okay? So you can either choose to send the, the broadcast message now to all your existing subscribers, or you can schedule it out for a future time and date. And you can think of broadcasts like an email broadcast, because it's exactly the same concept. So for those of you who have used an email marketing tool like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, GetResponse, any of those, you have the option to send out a real-time email blast to everyone on your list, or you can schedule out a broadcast to be sent at a later time and date to your list. This is exactly the same concept. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this looks like inside of ManyChat. So let's go to broadcasting. So we'll see right here, we can do a new broadcast. And what we can do is, let's just say test right here. So we have to have an initial message right here. We, we cannot send a broadcast um, that includes an existing flow without creating a first message right here, all right? So let's just say test, and then we're gonna say continue to another step, and then you can start another flow. 
So let's go to Flow Builder right here so it looks a little bit easier. So this is how you can attach any flow that you have already saved inside your ManyChat account to a broadcast, and this is how you would do it, all right? So then all you have to do is just click here, select Flow, and it'll show all of your flows. So that's what a broadcast is. And yeah, it's really simple. It's just a, a live real-time message and you can hook up anything that you want to it, except you cannot send out a sequence as a broadcast because that would just be weird. It doesn't really make sense. So let's go ahead and cover what a sequence is. All right, and this is the final thing. So a sequence is essentially, let's take a look at this picture here. So this is kind of a visual image of what it might look like. All right, so you can choose to send you know, in one message immediately, one after 45 minutes, one after two days, one after six days. These time frames are completely customizable to what you want, okay? So what a sequence is, it's basically a series of messages to be sent, all spaced out at whatever intervals you choose. Messages are sent based on when the user gets subscribed to the sequence, okay? So it's not a real-time thing. Um, it's based on when people are subscribed to this sequence. And again, for those of you who use email marketing tools, this is exactly like an email autoresponder sequence, okay? So it's the same exact concept. Um, you send out, you set whatever messages you want to get sent, uh, and you can send like flows as part of your sequence messages. And then what you do is you just set the amount of time that you want in between each message. And you can send as little as one, or you can send, you know, hundreds if you want. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like inside of my ManyChat account here. So you would go to automation, and then you would click sequences. So let's create a new sequence. And you can see right here, um, you would have to, you can create a ton if you want to. Or you can just leave it as one. And here you can set, if you want it to send the first one to send immediately, you can do that. And these are sent um, chronologically starting from the top all the way to the bottom. So this first one would be sent immediately. The next one would be sent, uh, you can set whatever you want. So let's say three hours later. Then you can do the next one after four days. And on and on, as, much, as many as you want and exactly how you want these to be sent out. Okay, then all you would have to do is actually create the messages in here and then set them to active and then you're good to go. So that's it. And again, you can attach any existing flow that you want to any of these steps. So that's the end of the video. That's the difference between a flow, a broadcast, and a sequence, okay? So a flow is any message or series of messages uh, that exists inside of ManyChat. And a flow needs to either be sent as a broadcast, which is a one-time, real-time message, or a flow is a part of a sequence, which is basically an automated series of messages that get sent out, much like an email autoresponder series. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching today. And if you got any value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me, every single one. And if you do want to get more awesome free content from me, be sure to click the red subscribe button down below. Or you can also click the awesome smiley face dude in the corner to get subscribed to the channel so you never miss another video. Thanks so much, guys. It's been Nico Moreno here, and have an awesome day.